We have witnessed some of the most prolific offensive players in franchise history this season. And just what is it like to coach the likes of Eric Martin and Brady Risk? And, and how have you enjoyed seeing them progress the way they have? First and foremost, just their obviously tremendous character and, uh, you know, extending right through their families. Um, and, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind with both of them is that they compete, they work hard every single day, uh, whether it's on the ice, in the gym, uh, doing extracurricular activities, whether it's in the community, uh, swimming, um, you know, they're very athletic individuals and obviously what you put in is what you're going to get out and, and uh, you know, breaking records and having the success that they, they both have had throughout their careers and the success they're going to maintain through their college career is truly a reflection of them as human beings. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a credit to the dedication and the commitment that they put into their games and their personal development. And, and obviously we all applaud them for, uh, for the milestones that they've hit. What has it meant to have Daniel Allen back between the pipes for you guys as well, uh, the late season acquisition of Chris Kerr, and then also with Riley Oslin, your rookie goaltender, 13 wins on the season. How has he impressed you with his team first attitude in his rookie year while going with this three goaltender system? Yeah, uh, order the order of uh, goalie acquisitions was Chris came. Um, through a transaction obviously with the Fort McMurray Oil Burns and that was to solidify bringing a veteran player that with experience and then uh, within 24 hours uh, the Tri-City Storm called and obviously Daniel was uh, coming available and it all worked out where here we go today we've got three goaltenders uh, you know with Danny there's familiarity with the hockey team from his perspective obviously uh, he more than proved himself last year as a first-year uh, player in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. So, you know, he's a player that handles pressure. Uh, he doesn't uh, show a lot of emotions in the terms of highs and lows and peaks and valleys. He's, uh, he just smiles and um, he enjoys the game. He loves the game um, and uh, he's just a tremendous teammate. So uh, we we're just very fortunate and I think that just kind of set the stage from January, the calmness in our dressing room, um, the belief went up, obviously the composure went up and there was less panic in what we were doing. Um, and again, it really comes back to the familiarity with, uh, you know, not only with Danny, but with Chris as well and his experience in the league and, and how well he's played uh, both in regular season and playoffs as a Fort McMurray Auburn. So then how has Riley Oslin impressed you with the way he's been so gracious, a real team first guy here in his first season? and uh, really operating under this three goalie system as a true pro. I don't care who you are mentally, it, it's not easy when you see a merry-go-round of goaltenders coming in and out of a program and we ran with three on two different occasions and and uh, you know I'm sure he was looking over his shoulder every once in a while saying am I next like what's gonna happen and and uh, just truly a professional um, beyond his years already uh, how calm he is and and uh, how he takes things in strides and he only focuses on the day. Um, and he's a, he's, a, he's a player, a goaltender that has just steadily gotten better all year. And, and we've seen his best, uh, you know, his best performances here post deadline. Um, you know, his most recent, a shutout win. Um, and uh, it's always been in him. He's played Brooks really well uh, in two different outings this year in the six games we've played him. And, and he's really solidified himself as the future of the, the franchise and someone that's going to come in and, and uh, carry that responsibility uh, next year. So um, he's enjoying the experience. And, and like I said, he's got a tremendous attitude through the process. And uh, he's been nothing but a blessing for us uh, as an organization moving forward. You recently signed a three-year contract extension with the Drumheller Dragons. And what does that mean to you professionally and to your family as well as you look ahead to the next three years? coaching in general it's uh, it's very much a results oriented business and um, part of that is making sure that you're developing the organization developing the players in the organization um, and uh, really influxing yourself into the community and and becoming part of it um, you know my family and and myself we, we grew up in this community uh, or in similar surroundings to this community in the Red Deer River Valley. So Drumheller, it feels like we're at home. Um, the family is all close and, uh, you know, we're 
we're extremely thankful for the opportunity to be given a chance to, to prove ourselves for another three years. And, you know, obviously the, the goal remains to, to win a national championship and uh, that's not going to change. Uh, and that's something that we're going to approach and tackle every single year, including this year heading into the playoffs. So um, that's what it's about. And that's why they, they put us in this position and, and uh, we're up for the challenge face off against the old Grizzlies in round one of the Alberta Junior Hockey League playoffs and how are you feeling heading into the postseason as a group? It's been an anxious two weeks I think uh, really difficult when you know who your opponent is you know what the schedule is and you just want to get on with it uh, the team was rolling and having a lot of success from January on uh, so as a group you know it was just managing time and making sure that we were maximizing our efforts in individual areas and team areas where we felt we can get better and and certainly the last couple of weeks where we've been maintaining that kind of discipline um, and, and trying to find ways through differing uh, types of opponents that we've been playing. Every single one of these teams are going to give you a different element of your game that you feel you can work on and, and our players have embraced that. They've been uh, extremely hard working in practice. Today we had another great practice. and and you see a little bit of progress every single day. So I think our guys uh, all would agree that uh, the confidence level is, is where it needs to be. We're, we're feeling like we're ready. Um, and like I said, we're just eager and anxious to, to get the puck dropped here.